means answers in the chat also so we can discuss the first one itself so the first question okay so this is the first question like a challenge the customer purchase analysis with the pie spark okay so here what we can do like we have a employee salary you can see here information about employees salaries in a company your task is to use a pie spark to analysis data answer the few questions using the aggregate function so data set also be given like that so the first company you can see like um the calling will be the id will be the employee id employee name department and salary the corresponding details also you can see here one john dio engineering this much of salary and second one so that means six records we have and uh, i will increase the size also six records we have here and we need to create a uh, data frame and column like a uh, headers also we need to create then load into like create a data frame load the data then we need to perform one by one so first thing calculate the total payroll cost of the company so this will be you need you can understand like sum of the last one salary this salary this salary this salary this one and this one okay so that will be the answer for the calculate the total payroll cost of the company second one will be the find the average salary of each department so you need to be group by with a department like there are a lot of departments you can see here engineering marketing engineering marketing and hr so you need to group by then you need to check how many uh, means uh, employees are under the each department then take the average that is the thing we can perform in this in this one also okay the next one identify the highest pay, paid employee and their and their department so what we can do like we need to find which is the highest one so uh, means we need to maximum of this one which is the maximum of this one like a salary then select to start from uh, the highest paid employee okay or you can order by order by the salary um, descending order that will get you the highest to lowest then the first one you need to take and you can take all the data about that particular employee that is the third thing then the fourth one will be calculate the total number of employees in each department total number of employee so first you need to group by by department then you need to take the count of the employee id then you will get the correct idea about how we can join the data okay so that is that is all about our the first first code the day four code so i will share the code also i think you clear right the question is clear any doubt you have please let me know if you facing any kind of doubt on this one let me know okay yes so i'm just sharing my screen so you can see my screen this is the first pi far code and let me know team in any doubt you have please let me know i will increase the size also so this is the challenge one challenge okay this is the challenge day and we are taking first initial step we are taking the average kind of thing so normally what we do like we just go here and from the pi spa dot sql import far session then sql function what are the column min max these kind of thing we definitely need so that also we just imported then next one we just create a spark session you can give anything in the spark session is like a kind of um, connecting point to here so you can create a spark session also then create a data frame like this and you can create the column names also header once you add these kind of things to here you can df equal to spar dot create a data frame passing the data and a column name that means a header that means the data frame is created here itself okay then i'm just printing like df dot show df dot show you can you can see here okay so this is the because whatever data we are getting we are converting into a data frame so that is the first thing you can see here 
then the next question will be in the first question we need to find that sum of the salary sum of the uh, total payroll cost okay that is the that is the question number one so i'm just total payroll cost so definitely you need to when you get this one definitely you want to understand like that sum of all these thing okay sum of the salary in the all these thing will be the total pirate cost so don't just total pirate cost equal to df dot to select sum of the salary okay so don't need uh, if you miss this a uh, column it will be throw an error so column salary and then collect of zero comma zero so that will be collecting the all the item from that particular thing itself then total pirate cost equal to this one so this will return you the correct value okay and the same thing same thing here also the average salary of the department wise so that is the uh, i think that is the question we are getting this find the average salary of department wise find the average salary for each department so here average department salary equal to df dot to group by department based on we are grouped by the department based on the aggregate average salary alias as average salary average dot show so it will help you to showing the corresponding department wise salary here then next one will be highest paid employee okay we need to find the highest paid employee and return all the details of that particular employee so you can see here highest paid employee you can order by salary order by salary then descending so it will help you to the de complete details on the salary in the order by that means highest to lowest then we can find the only the top portion so um, you can see here highest paid df dot order by salary descending limit equal to one then select the complete details employee name department salary and first step then print the highest paid employee equal to this one then next one will be the total employee per department okay so we have we already have there are some department engineering these thing we need to group by based on department so that will be help you to engineering department marketing department and hr department then count of the employee okay that means then you need to take the count of the aggregate of count of the employee give the name as total employee counter then you can do, do like Uh, employee dot show so that means this data you can see here so that that will be kind of if you use the show command it will be written it will be suitable for like a table kind of thing but if you return one line of command maybe in the integer or something it will be you can use like print of this one so normally is like department of door show engineering will contain three three people marketing will contain two people and hr will contain one people okay so this is the idea about this one okay day four next we are moving into i think hope you all clear this day four okay day four kind of thing